Welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, uh, we are going to talk much about uh, the Bezier tool and uh, some of the options you are presented with when uh, when you are using the Bezier tool. So I'll just go ahead and select Bezier tool. So once you select the Bezier tool, there are a couple of options you have up here. Uh, we have uh, the first one is create a regular Bezier path. Second one is uh, creating a spiral path. Then we have this spline path, sequence of a straight line segment. Then we have a couple of shapes here on the drop down menu here. You can have a triangle in, triangle out, ellipse from clipboard. So all these ones you can play around with. So let's start with the first one whereby you can just draw a straight line there. Then you press, sorry, then you press enter. I think. Uh, this is the last uh, the last thing I did when I opened the I opened the ink Inkscape. So I'll just go ahead and uh, select none over there, so that uh, I'll explain this uh, this kind of uh, ellipse later. So let me just try to draw another busy tool there, and I press enter. So what I have here is uh, just a straight line. Uh, we can use this to and I make it uh, a little bit bigger and uh, we can we can we can we can increase the path here either on this end or we can go ahead and increase the 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 width there let's let's do one one point four one one millimeters that looks good so here we can uh, we have a couple of options we can double click and we have this node here uh, this node here you can uh, can move it up and down just the same as if uh, if you are in the selector tool you can uh, you can move it this way but this one is just to expand it so I double click there then if I hold down the the shift key there and I drag this one you can see I'm forming some kind of curve there. So once you generate this uh, spline, spline tool there, we don't have to keep on holding the shift key. You can just leave the shift key, but now you play with this uh, line here. So the longer it comes, is this you can see we get more smoother curve there. We can do the same thing on this end. Press and hold down the shift key. <coughs> there you can see now I'm forming kind of uh, sine wave there very nice so you can play around with these ones another thing you can also do is uh, if you double click here you can add an, another point and you can now drag it and uh, make it more you can make it more uh, more practical here this is now almost close to sorry this is now close to sine wave uh, this is just a couple of things you can do. You can add more points on the line there to come up with uh, different shapes or different uh, uh, different parts you, you might want to use. I can go ahead. I'll just go ahead and delete this. But one thing also you can you can delete. Uh, you can just select a point on the a node on the line or on the path, and then you press delete key on the keyboard like that. When I want to add it again, I just double click. Uh, I can also select a couple of uh, nodes, then I hit the lit key on, on the keyboard, and uh, that is gone now. So there are a couple of ways of doing deleting and uh, adding more nodes on the spline tool. Uh, I'll delete that. Another thing that I want to explain is uh, uh, options. Another option we have here is uh, we have this one called uh, spiral path. It kind of creates a nice, a nice, uh, a nice uh, kind of spiral tool. Can it is just kind of smooth, uh, smooth node there. Press enter. So. This one, so you can go ahead and uh, 
it is up there. So this one you can as well go ahead and uh, edit this. So I'm trying to edit it. Uh, let me select it first. Yeah. So if you want to edit it, you have to select it. Then you double click so that you can can be able to see these nodes here. You can play around with these ones and see you can delete the nodes the one you don't want. Mm. Another option we have is uh, uh, still on the this this uh, spiral part. I can come up, up on the drop down menu here and uh, select ellipse. And uh, what that will give me is uh, this kind of shape here. And uh, if I press enter, you can see it is it has some nice shading here. Or it starts at this point, it is thinner, then it comes uh, thicker, then thin again. So this is uh, this. These are some of the some kind of shapes. Maybe if you can't create yours, you you might end up downloading. But with Inkscape, you can easily create them uh, without much uh, much struggle there. Uh, so this is uh, what I wanted to show you. You can use Bezier tool to create some powerful shapes, which uh, you can't create anywhere or with any software. Uh, so the next uh, or in the future the future tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can use a Bezier tool to trace, trace an image or create a vectorized uh, image, maybe trying to trace a path and uh, making an SVG file for, for that matter. So thank you for watching this and uh, let me know if you have any question. Please join the discussion by commenting, liking the video and please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed for this uh, tutorial series. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, let's meet on the next uh, next video tutorial.